After telling a government employee to slit their own throat, the now former minister Gavin Williamson had to resign from government, leaving Rishi Sunak with some questions to answer about how he was supposedly cleaning up government after Boris Johnson, given that he only hired Williamson a couple of weeks ago. I said my government would be characterized by integrity, professionalism, and accountability, and it will. So you want us to believe that you're restoring decency after the actions of Boris Johnson, but that's especially hard to believe when you then go on to say, I did not know about any of the specific concerns relating to his conduct. But the truth is that you were warned that there were allegations of bullying and intimidation against Gavin Williamson before you hired him as a minister, just like Boris Johnson was warned that there were allegations of harassment against Chris Pincher before he made him deputy chief whip. And you say that you weren't aware of the specifics when you hired him, which is really funny because that's almost exactly what Boris Johnson said about Chris Pincher. And remember, it was Rishi Sunak himself, along with Sajid Javid, who originally resigned in protest against Boris Johnson, saying they could no longer stand by and tolerate the immorality of Boris Johnson knowingly hiring someone with a bunch of red flags and then failing to take responsibility for it. And so after using Boris Johnson's wrongdoing to steal his job, Rishi Sunak is now doing the exact same thing. And then on the record profits of energy companies like Shell. How much have they paid under his so-called windfall tax? I was chancellor who introduced an extra tax on the oil and gas company. Yeah, months after Labour told you to, but that still doesn't answer the question. Shell haven't paid a penny in windfall tax. What the party opposite will never understand is that it's businesses investing that create jobs in this country. You can't first of all brag about how you introduced a windfall tax and then brag about how that tax hasn't actually been taxing those companies. Second of all, the idea that you can't tax those companies because otherwise they won't invest here, that was debunked months ago, but also Shell recently practically begged the government to tax them more. The British people want real leadership on the serious global challenges we face. Is real leadership only going to the COP27 climate summit when you heard that Boris Johnson was going? Like some kind of in-betweener school kid? One of the great opportunities of Brexit is our ability to trade more with countries around the world. The thing is he knows he's lying because when it was pointed out to him that UK trade was falling behind how other countries are doing, he said, uh, We're changing our trading relationship with the EU and that means a different set of controls and uh, things that people will have to do and that will obviously have an impact and that I'm sure is, is a big part of the reason why this is happening. I'm proud of my and this government's track record in supporting the most vulnerable in our society. You've consistently voted to lower people's benefits and against raising sick pay. You also recently bragged about how you took money away from deprived urban areas to give it to rich ones. Kind of like how Boris Johnson said we should give more money to Londoners and just hope that it trickles up to Scotland. Rishi Sunak and Boris Johnson have the same utter lack of care for ordinary people and the same willingness to promote the worst people in government. The only question is, are we smart enough to realize that this isn't a new government, we're just being tag-teamed?